Capricorn, it's your girl Sid from Savvy Sentient, and welcome to your reading. This reading is urgent messages from your spirit team. Okay, um, so everything you need to know about me, how to book, Patreon, and all the cards used in this video are in the description box. But let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right, so spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? What is this reading in reference to? Come on, Capricorn. So you're showing up here in your own reading. So this could mean that this reading is about you. Okay? This can also represent toxicity, excess, uh, vices, habits that are, are negative, um, doing too much of anything, even a good thing. It's a bad thing. Okay? So what messages do we have about the devil energy here? We got death coming out in the reverse. All right. Death coming out in the reverse. We have the full energy showing up. So not wanting to end something. In fact, wanting to start something new. Okay. With the two of wands energy. King of wands in the reverse. This is someone who is. A very controlling, manipulative, lacks confidence, but makes up for it in ego. Okay. King of Cups, emotionally balanced, um, emotionally mature individual. This could represent people in your life as well. King of Pentacles. A lot of people showing up here in this reading. Including the full high priestess, spirituality, trusting the unknown mysteries, sensuality, sexuality, intuition. We have the page of swords in the reverse, gossip, spying. Someone's keeping tabs on you, but you know that intuitively with the high priestess there. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. All right. So, it may not be you who doesn't want to end the cycle. It may be someone else who wants to start a new cycle with you. So, I'm going to clarify the death and the fool. I don't get the feeling that this person is a good person. This is someone who things have stagnated with, okay? This is someone who made you unhappy, made you feel very discontent um clarify the two of wands what decisions are we making here in the reverse we have the strength card coming out in the reverse so feeling weak feeling like you've lost your will feeling like you're unable to have a um, a relationship with this person that is equal that is um symbiotic okay Clarify further in the sun. So it's like, do you choose between your happiness or do you choose between a situation? It may not be a relationship at all, but do you choose between a situation that didn't bring you happiness, that made you very discontent, made you feel very stagnant, stagnant and you felt like there was no progress in the situation at all, or... Do you have a new beginning? And if you choose a new beginning, do you choose a new beginning with this person? Or do you choose happiness? Do you choose um, a new cycle that is full of, you know, life and abundance? I feel like um, whatever this is, you are aware that it's run its course, Capricorn. So I'm not sure if you are entertaining this. Um, I don't get the the feeling that you are because the card that ends the reading is the ace of pentacles in reverse so that's that's a no-go on the new beginning and i feel like it's because you know that this person is disloyal or you know that this opportunity is not going to deliver what it promises clarify the king of wands 
I feel like the King of Wands could be you. You've lost your passion for whatever this is. So someone, look, judgment card. Someone is trying to renew something with you, start something over with you. And you have no passion for it anymore. And I feel like you have gotten to a place emotionally where you're okay with that. You're okay with the fact that things have changed, that you have moved on from the situation, that things turned out the way that they did. You've made your peace with it. And you got into a place of stability. So I feel like all of these kings, with the, exception, uh, with the exception of the king of wands, is you. You know that this person is controlling, manipulative, and they're coming back around. This could even be a boss. Like I said, it doesn't have to be romantic. But whoever this person is, they're coming back around with manipulation. But the judgment card is a card of clarity. So it's like you see through it. You see through whatever they <laughs> whatever they're trying to do i'm hearing Nicki minaj you see right through me how do you do that shit so they may even be aware that whatever story they're selling um you're not buying and they're really perplexed because the same type of manipulation has always worked on you but now that you've gotten to a place of peace now that you've gotten to a place of emotional stability and stability within yourself. I feel like your mental health, your physical health has improved since separating from this situation. So overall, you've become better because the situation has ended. And now this person is coming back around trying to offer you the same old shit and they're wondering why it's not working. Why is it not working? Let's clarify the King of Cups, King of Pentacles. I really like this energy for you, Capricorn, because there were several readings where um, you all were struggling with whoever this person is or a similar situation like this where you kept trying to get away from it, but it kept trying to pull you back in. So it seems like a lot of you have gotten to a place where you freed yourself of it and you're seeing through it. <laughs> You've gotten back to yourself. That's why the devil is leading the reading because you're very much you again. You're back in your own energy. All right. We have the five of swords clarifying the king of cups and the king of pentacles. You don't want your peace disrupted, period. This five of swords is you understanding that if you let this person back into your life, if you allow this opportunity to happen, it's going to be nothing but war. It's going to be war for you. And this person is going to manipulate you and take advantage of you. Or you're going to have to do that yourself in order to have the upper hand. And that's not where you want to be. You, you've gained a mastery of stability. You've gained mastery of your emotions. Why, do you, why would you want to play these childish games? Why would you want to entertain any of that? But this person hasn't grown. This person doesn't understand that. Okay, so we have the high priestess here at the bottom of the deck. You know intuitively that this person is watching you, watching your social media, watching your, your I don't know, maybe you post, I got a promotion, something like that. They watch everything that you do. And I feel like that's partially why they want to get back in because they see you growing. They see you flourishing. They see you becoming uh, the Capricorn you used to be and more. And they're like, what? Without me? Nah, B. <laughs> nah, B. Clarify the high priestess and the page of swords. That wants to come out. I'm going to take it. Justice. <laughs> Justice. They're getting everything that they deserve. And it may not even be nothing negative happening to them in their life. But um, being without you in itself is justice. They never deserved you. But for some of you, they are literally getting, they are literally getting what they deserve in their life. They are not seeing the same abundance. They are not reaping any rewards in their life and they're watching you and they're seeing that you are and they're like, damn, I need to holler at Capricorn again. <laughs> I need to get some of that. Like they want to be successful by proxy, by association. Clarify the justice. What's happening with this person? 
No progress. Eight of Wands in reverse. <laughs> Yo. Capricorn, whoever this person is, I feel like they are taking loss after loss after loss. They are seeing no progress in their life whatsoever. They are not getting any communication from you, and they want it so badly. But on top of that, they are not having any growth. They're not having any progress in their life. And, and the devil energy is could be you, that they're not having communication with you. But I feel like it's excess. They are taking loss after loss after loss. And they are watching you. They are watching you. Let's see. Seeing you win, win, win. And they're like, nah, I need to get back at Capricorn. Clarify the Ace of Hazards in the reverse. I feel like that's you saying no to a new beginning. Yes, because you're standing in your power. You are defending everything that you gained since they have left your life. Since the cycle closed with them. You're protecting all of that. All of it. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Swords. You have victory now. You have success. They see it. They want it. You like hard no. Exit stage left, little B. All right. So let's get a monology message for you, Capricorn. Two more, please. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Meditate and contemplate. Don't let this person knock you off your center. New moon in Pisces. Don't let this person take you out of your element. Don't let this person take you out of your zen state because you're winning right now. And if they can't win with you, they would like to distract you. Okay? We have the disseminating moon card. This card is a, a message that it's okay to breathe out now. That the hard part is over. That the uh, negativity is released from your life. And you can finally exhale. All right, and then finally, we have a time to give rather than to take new moon in Virgo. What I really want you to give is this person your ass to kiss. Uh, what I really want you to give is no fucks. Um, <laughs> but this could also be a message of, you know, gratitude, doing for others, not this person, but, you know, doing for others because you are now in a, in a more abundant place, okay? And that is your way of telling the universe that you are grateful. Thank you. Thank you, universe, for these blessings, for the strength to um, break free of this person, okay? Um, I feel like with this sun and the strength in the reverse, both of these are Leo energy. You may have been dealing with a Leo. This may be a Leo. Um, but what you're choosing is life over weakness. Y'all see this? You're choosing life over weakness. Vitality over weakness. Success over weakness. Every time you've given in to this person, it has not ended well. So you're finally doing something different. So let's go ahead and get some affirmators for you. Well, one affirmator. What message do you have for Capricorn Spirit? Come on. All right, this is your affirmator card, and it says patience. Congratulations, you've been granted more patience. You may start using it right away or much, much later. Waiting a long time is sort of is the sort of option now afforded to you by greater patience. Can you believe it? Look at this. You're still reading and you haven't even started getting annoyed yet. Imagine how this patience will transform your life. Imagine how easy it will be to go to the post office. <laughs> These cards are stupid, but I love them. Okay, so um, I feel like this card is coming out because this person is going to try your patience. And you are to not be moved. You are to not be moved. You are not to act out. You are not to fall into a low vibration. You are not to stoop to their level. Because what they are trying to do is knock you right on off of your center. They don't want to see you continue to flourish. They hate it. And you're doing it without them. The nerve of you. The nerve of you to be great without them, Capricorn. Ugh. You disgust them. All right. So I pulled a self-love, sacred self-care oracle for you. And these are great to work with just even on your own. Again, they're linked in the description box. Um, but something to pull every day to work on a self-care practice for yourself. So this says energy work. 
Okay, the mantra of this card, my energetic body is clear and radiating love. All right, prioritize the maintenance of your metaphysical body, also known as your energetic body. It needs as much attention as your physical body. The two are inherently linked, so taking care of one takes care of the other. Checking with your metaphysical body, though, through self-guided meditation. Close your eyes and tune into the sensations you're feeling within. Start at the top of your head and work your way down. Ask each part of your body or each of your chakras how they feel and what emotions they're holding on to that need to be processed and brought into balance. Be patient. The response will come. Frequently, our physical ailments can be a result of unresolved metaphysical issues. Look for the well-trained healer who you intuitively feel is a good fit for your needs. Explore Reiki, Theta Healing, Somatic Therapy, Watu Aquatic Body Work, Chakra Alignment, Voice Activation, and Sound Healing or any other modalities that feel right for you. The journal prompt of this card says, Do you have an intuitive sense of how the different energy centers in your body feel? Which ones do you intuitively feel need some intention? some attention. Okay. So that is your sacred self-care. Get into some Reiki, do some sound healing, um, lots of meditations on YouTube for that. So explore, but that is the message for your self-care. I'm going to pull some advice for you and a postcard from spirit. What is the advice as it pertains to this situation? I saw the high priestess trying to come out again. Period. One more, please. Hmm. Clarify. Yes. Okay. And what is the postcard from Spirit? What do you have to say, Spirit? Thank you. All right. So, your advice is the judgment in reverse and the six of swords there is no need to wake the dead there is no need to revive this old situation spirit wants you to move away from it move away from it okay the other half of the advice is the daughter of cups with the hermit the daughter of cups is the page the page is very um idealistic and uh, a wide view thinker very um What's the word I'm looking for? Visionary, okay? I feel like spirit is telling you it's time to go within, to seek for your inner truth. What is the bigger picture of your life? What is it that you truly want? And you'll understand why this person doesn't fit. You'll understand why it's necessary for you to go ahead and release this fully. Um, some of you all need to not even contact this person no more block them whatever the case is don't give them any energy whatsoever because they they're toxic and they want you to be toxic with them and you're too too focused right now on being rich being successful being great in this world you guys are no longer in alignment with each other you understand that and they don't okay so your postcard from spirit says dear you uncertainty is the new normal for the whole world Things are changing at a rapid pace, and the old ways we once trusted are no longer reliable. But leaving the familiar behind can be a good thing. Hmm. When you are pushed to step into the unknown, you are pulled forward into discovering new possibilities that have been hidden in plain sight. Check in with your higher power. Your soul knows better than your small self. Have faith in the support of the higher power and the inf infinite potential for your life. Right now... The advice we have for you is this. Try something new. Do something different. You won't know how it feels, what it looks like, or what the outcome will be if you do not take that first step into the unknown and experience the unfamiliarity. You'll be so glad you did because the treasure will appear. We're so proud of you for being brave. You are so loved and so supported. Okay, so that is your message, Capricorn. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And until the very next time I read for you all, I'm wishing you all love and light and everything right. And I'll see you in the next one. 
Bye.